our footage into Premiere. So all of your footage is located on the Lakeside TV drive. So it's a remote drive. So we have to import our footage into Premiere from that. Here's the thing with Premiere. Once you put it into Premiere, you cannot move your source footage. So your source footage is the uh, the files from the camera. If you move it on the Lakeside TV drive, Premiere is not going to be able to find it and it's it's going to ruin your, your video. Um, so you need to be organized on the Lakeside TV drive before you import into Premiere. If you're not organized there and you try to organize after the fact, Premiere is going to lose your footage and it's going to say, hey, where'd those files go? Especially on big projects, it's going to be a problem. So I'm going to show you how to um, import it from Lakeside TV Drive. So down here in our project panels is where we're going to be working. So I'm going to make this larger so we can see it. If you want to make it larger, it's the button above the tab on your keyboard. Hover over the panel that you want to make it full screen and hit it and there it goes. So now our full screen, if I want to go back, I hit that button again. So I'm just going to make it full screen so I can see it. You can see it. We're still in the project window. Okay, we're going to hit the media browser tab inside our project panel. Alright, from here, we're on network drives. I know it's on Lakeside TV, so I'm going to double click Lakeside TV. Double click Student Works. And right now, we're, we're fixed. Everyone is going to bring in the Chick-fil-A footage. We're all going to work from the same document. So I'm going to go to Broadcasting 1. Chick-fil-A footage. I'm going to go ahead and since in a folder, I can double click in it and see that it's got my private file, which is a video file, and back up one. And I'm just going to go ahead and take the whole folder of Chick-fil-A footage. And in order to do that, right click on it and select import. Okay, now it's telling me it's importing the files. And then it's going to tell me that file import failure. And this is fine. This means that I shot it on the Sony NX5U. And what that camera does, it has a lot of metadata that Premiere doesn't recognize. So that's this is perfectly fine. If you had footage from the Sony Next 5U, then this is the kind of message that you'll get. Click OK. So I'm going to go back to normal screen. I hit my squiggly line above the tab. OK. And now I'm going to go to my project panel. And now there's a folder called Chick-fil-A footage. Uh, so that is how we import. Let's say um, you may not upload everything to the Lakeside TV drive. You have something on your desktop that you want to import, which is the way that we did it in the past. There are two, three different ways we can import footage. First one is go File, Import, and go to the desktop. And let's say if I want to import one of these videos that I've made today, uh, so you're starting Premiere, click on import. All right, so there it is. Or I can hit Command I, which is the shortcut for import. Command I. We can go, and from here we can go to our server. Lakeside TV, Student Works, Broadcasting One, First Period, I want to get out Carrington's footage from the other day. Let's see here, did she organize it? Yes. So I'm going to import the whole folder so I know it's from September 4th. Makes a lot for it to import. And so it must have been shot on a Sony NX5U because it's telling me if there's an import failure. It didn't grab all the metadata. That's perfectly fine. So now I have three items down here. So we did file import is one way. Command I is another way. And then the third way to import is just to double click in the blank space in your project panel. So I double click. And again, that brings me up here. Looks like TV. Let's see here. What else do I want to get? Let's get, let's get something from, from last year. Grab a sound effect. Uh, 
Okay, so that's how we import. There's three different ways. You can do media browser, actually four, I guess. Media browser, you can do file import, uh, command I, or double click in the project panel.